use the link in your signature to book your calendar. That's something we are going to talk about in this video. But first a like and subscribe to my channel and share this video with as many colleagues as you have. Well, uh, we all know that it's difficult to find some time in your calendar. And with this uh, tutorial, it may be uh, easier to find some time in your tutorial. So let's go into, uh, uh, into the uh, browser. And I already uh, uh, set up uh, my email account outlook.office.com.mail. Uh, uh, in this case, it's, um, uh, it's a web uh, app. And if we go to our signatures, and I'm going to try it in here, uh, and we go to compose and reply, here we will find uh, a signature. And here we can do a signature across all devices uh, and what you see here is a grayed out uh, link uh, which says include a link to my bookings page in my signature well it's grayed out because it's still in preview and i'm going to show you how to get this preview on up and running because you may have seen it in the beginning uh, there is a bookings with me and uh, if we go to this link i will uh, copy the link and go to this link then uh, you directly see that it's also going to outlook.office.com book with me and here you see welcome at your bookings page so this is your personal bookings page and you can see it's still in preview so uh, it could be that it's not working for you right now uh, but uh, what you can do is uh, you can add a public and a private private uh, bookings link the public one you can add to your signature and the private one is only if you add it so uh, else it won't work so i'm going to add it here and what you have is typically uh, a meeting invite you can give it a category if you have uh, a category. So this makes it easy to make it uh, only a bookings category. And uh, you can add a description team meeting with me. Uh, location, if it's a team make meeting, uh, the time uh, you can select. Uh, so in this case, it's public. Uh, I Private again uh, is only if you are private. Um, use my regular meeting hours and so you can check them and you have some advanced options so you can add some buffer time, uh, how long uh, before they can uh, schedule a meeting, uh, all the uh, basics of bookings actually. So I'm going to save this and now you see that this is uh, generated and it takes some time uh, to generate it. In the meanwhile, um, I'm going to make a private one as well. And I make it a green category. Uh, private and save. And as you can see, that one is quite easy uh, uh, created. And here you have the grayed out options, copy single use link. So they can only use it one, one time, or you can copy the link. Now, as this is not yet ready, I'm going to a different profile. In this case, uh, Marco's profile. And let me go to book with me as well where I already have set it up and now you have this share button and here you can select what you want so you can copy just the link share via mail or add it to your signature so in this case now you see that this link which was grayed out in the beginning is now available I'm going to add it and you directly see that this is the link that is added to your booking or to your signature uh, if I save it, then my new signature, if I go to outlook.office.com uh, and I uh, create a new email, you will see that it has the bookings with me link in there. 
So uh, this is what I wanted to show you. I hope it, you like it. Give a comment if you are going to use it. And um, yes, don't forget to like and subscribe to my video and see you next time.